Full disclosure, Casey Kenny isn't a complete unknown in the UFC bantamweight division. The man had already had four UFC fights prior to this past weekend and was coming into Fight Island sporting a respectable 3-1 UFC record, 15-2-1 overall. With impressive victories over Manny Bermudez and Lewis Smoker, as well as a highly contentious unanimous decision against former title challenger Ray Borg, Kenny hasn't sprung up out of nowhere exactly. But the man has never put it together the way that he did this past weekend against Haley Alateng. Coming in 2-0 in the UFC, Alateng was never considered that much of a threat against the minus 370 favourite in Kenny, but it was expected that the durability and heart of Haley would stifle some of Kenny's offence. But that was just not the case. The obvious narrative of the fight were the body kicks, but they were a product of the southpaw double attack from the very onset. Starting off with some hand fighting, Kenny established the distance before pulling back to counter Alateng's first entry with a sharp looking left hand. From there, the whole left side was weaponized. Kenny used the threat of the left hand to land the body kick. The body kick became an inside low kick, and then he folded in a left high kick. And he wouldn't always throw these weapons in a vacuum. Sometimes, the left body kick directly followed the left hand. It was all about the feints, particularly for landing the left hand. On the outside with space, Kenny's naked left was a treat. Step in feints caught Alateng's attention and caused reactions, which were then subsequently capitalized on. Alateng didn't offer too many offensive or defensive striking weapons to deal with, so much of the fight was Kenny teeing off. But Kenny was vigilant of the right hand and varied up his responses to Alateng's entries accordingly. He would either step back, throw the pullback left straight, or throw an often crisp check right hook. The variety in his defensive responses indicates a thoughtful, practice striker. In these open stance matchups between Southpaw and Orthodox, we often see limited use of the jab, and that is accurate in this case. Kenny's jab wasn't seen all that often, and when it was, it wasn't really anything to write home about. His lead hand was used either for check hooking or for hand fighting to try and ascertain distance. The major issue I found was in his recklessness in the pocket. He's a gorgeous striker on the outside, who readjusts angles carefully and gets his head outside the lead shoulder to protect against counters, but in combination, he does get careless and his shot selection isn't as clean as his single strikes on the outside. But all in all, this was Kenny's best performance to date, at least in the striking department. Shockingly, one of the judges scored the contest 30-27, giving no 10-8 rounds to Kenny. But don't let that scorecard trick you. Kenny's performance was completely dominant and one-sided. In spite of his loss to Marab Balashvili, who himself is a major prospect in the division, Casey Kenny deserves major commendation and absolutely a step up in competition. Give this man a top 15 opponent. Thanks for watching guys. Tell me in the comment section below if there's anyone that you want me to check out in the near future and we'll give them a look on Prospect Watch next time. Thanks for watching guys. Catch you next time.